Is how's it going? So one of the few life-saving tips that I can tell you is that if you go into the cookhouse and you hit your production, change that to fancy meal. It's a super helpful thing because if you've been wondering why your survivors are super uh, aggravated with you and they're hungry all the time, that's probably why. Um, of course, you know, you always go to your suggestion box and once in a while look at that. Another thing, fun thing to know is that if you tap where your little fist icon is, this will tell you what your battle bonus review is, it'll tell you what your training speed is, it'll tell you a bunch of wonderful things that you may or may not know that you had. So, another life-saving, time-saving type of thing to know. Another thing is if you hit your profile, um, of course you can go into the leaderboard and then this will tell you which alliance um, where you are in relation to all players as well as you know neighboring states and then also all states in general so if you've been wondering you know like who's the top player and what's the top highest alliance evil's the highest alliance red has the most kills according to this Sor sorota apparently has the highest furnace level in state two akb's got the highest personal power in state 77 um I have no idea how to say that guy's name, but he's, uh, he's, he's got, you know, he's got the highest, wow, look at that, 1.8 billion kills. <laughs> so that guy's got 1.8 billion kills, um, Yukino has 5.4, which I don't know if that's really, I mean, she's probably the first one, uh, that got there, that's really ultimately what, how that, that's calculated as far as I know, like Hero's total power. You can kind of see Lord Dynasty's way up there. AKB is really not far behind. Again, these are all just stats and things to know. Um, of course, if you're wondering, like, where you may be in relation to, like, other people, you can always go to events. And uh, if you tap on, like, say, for example, you know, this, I can look and see where we are, you know, during events and such. These are all little fun things in case you're wondering what that, you know, those icons are. It'll even tell you, like, like what rewards are available for your alliance and such during an event. You can go to the calendar and you can see which events are coming up. You can even find out more about these events and such in Discord if you want to know more about them and the Whiteout Survival Discord. But, like, a lot of this stuff, you know, like, for example, like Power Up, you know, I'm, I'm right now, I'm number one, yippee, kaye, all that in front of the batch. I mean, there's a lot of information here, like Foundry Battle, for example. I mean, where do you even begin with this? I mean, I guess one thing that should be said about Foundry Battle is, is that you don't lose any troops. It's just that basically they get sent to the infirmary and then you have to heal them. And the main rule that you should know about, and, you know, and, and as far as Foundry is concerned, really, is, is that... You can see that, like, each site's going to have its own bonuses and stuff. Uh, one of the things that I had people ask me about was kind of like, well, how do I get teleports, and do I need to use teleports, and all that jazz? Well, you can get that stuff from a transit station. If you seize a transit station, you get advanced teleporters. Okay, naturally, you're going to be fighting over these things, so you're, <laughs> you're going to be having to struggle a little bit. But, like everything, you've got to be able to maintain your power and you've got to do all of that while mine maintaining control and so there's going to be kind of a a tussle for all of those things you know but that's foundry battle for you obviously legion 2 and legion 1 legion 1's more important than legion 2 um i would say really about all you'd need to know as far as alliance mobilization is concerned is you know do the quests that are obviously the first two and refresh them until you get 200 percent and Obviously, doing a quest that's, you know, two or three hundred points versus one that's doing a hundred. You know, the more points you can contribute to your alliance, the better. Um, outside of that, I guess you can also, if you wanted to know, you always want to make sure your furnace is running on with max power. So you're, you know, you're not ever having your survivors basically, uh, you know, cold. So that's how you lose survivors. And... I would say about the only other thing, really, is just upgrading your buildings, you know, and making sure you've got all of that stuff min-maxed out. Um, beyond that, though, I mean, I'd say for the everyday player, that's really about a lot of the little things that I've found that, you know, if, if you're going to save yourself some time on, th those are the things that are going to make a huge difference. Um, outside of that, though, I mean, I guess... Something that I didn't know anything about is you can actually tap on power, and then in here it'll actually tell you the quality of where you are in relation to everybody in the state. So, like, right now I know that I'm not doing well in tech. I'm doing okay in hero gear and chief gear, and I have an S-tier building power, you know? But 
Like my furnace level is a C. You know, like it tells you where you are in relation to everybody. It gives you kind of a, a metric from A to S to SS. It like gives you an idea of where you are in the game, basically, in relation to the other people in your state. So it's it's kind of helpful to know, and then obviously you can hit any of these enhancements, so like I can enhance, build troops, and off the way I go, you know? It's like very helpful for that, and it, it gives you a really good idea of where to start improving and where you are lacking in other places, so it's just a helpful little thing that I thought, you know, not it wasn't really like well explained, at least to me when I was looking at it, but always tap power. You can get to it just by hitting the, you know, the fist and then hitting power down in the center um because that's yeah that, that's like a really helpful thing um <laughs> beyond that though i mean other than gathering every day popping a growth boost i guess you know obviously try to get down into the arena if you can um i'd say if, if you're wondering what to buy in shop i would say don't really bother with anything less than 30 percent on the discounts because I've found plenty that are well over... I, I very rarely go in there, honestly. Um, the mystery badges are kind of one of those things that you get from doing rallies. You can buy mystery badges if you want to. Um, there's not really a whole lot in there that I would ever bother with, except for the essence stones. If you want my two cents. I would buy the essence stones, just because I know what the essence stones will do for you in the long run. Um, as far as the arena shop goes... I don't use my arena tokens on anything but the Mythic Gearbox at the end of the week, and then I just rinse and repeat. I don't waste my tokens on anything else except for that one thing. VIP Shop, I mean, you can buy the resources in the first three if you want to, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. If anything, I just pick up the speeds, and then, you know, every once in a while I might pick up, like, for example, you know, I could start picking up the enhancements, but those are pretty pricey at 250 a pop. Um, the XP's are definitely not worth it for any amount. I <laughs> wouldn't bother with those at all. The Stam might be worth it, though. Um, with, you know, the amount of stamina that you need in this game, you tend to find that you're going to need it. In the Foundry Shop, I am going to say the one thing that stands out to me is pretty valuable in here. Free-to-play-wise, you're going to be wanting these design plans, because you're not going to get them really any other way. Um... Once you get to a certain tier, you're going to eventually go through your polishing solutions. You know, hardened allies, you can get technically through rallies and stuff like that, so I don't know if you'd really necessarily need to focus in on that. I would say your, your, for, for what you get, eh, I mean, I would say probably, you know, just looking at this point blank anyway, Based on the amounts too, it looks to me as though like what you're what's gonna give you the most bang for your buck, it looks like is gonna be the polishing solutions. You're gonna want the design plans. The charms. I think we're probably not a not a bad idea. The essence stones are pricey. But they're valuable, but just pricey. Um obviously the shards are all pricey. I wouldn't really bother with those if it were me. Um, you can pick up speeds, but if you're going to pick them up, I would do the one hours. And don't worry about the research ones until you run out. And then if you do, then if you got spare, then you can put them into construction speeds. Or research speeds or training speeds. Depending on what you're doing at the time. But before I'd even do that, I'd probably pick up the enhancements under the gear. I would probably primarily focus down these first. I'd probably do the components first in Foundry, and then if... I was out of the components and foundry, I'd probably move over to polishing solutions. And after the polishing solutions, because again, you know, I try to prioritize in terms of what I think is valuable. Because um, I ultimately think having your gear upgraded is super helpful, especially on your heroes, but just in general, like it gives you a lot of bonuses and stats. And here, even though chief gear, you're going to spend quite a bit if you're going down that route anyway, but. Um, yeah, these are all things that I think that ultimately it comes down to. I think those components are probably the most valuable out of everything out of the foundry there that I can see outside of, you know, obviously some people will pick up the shards, but for only three shards at 2,500, it's just not worth it to me. I wouldn't bother. Outside of that, um, that's pretty much it as far as the shops go. And these are all the little helpful tips that I can give you for the day. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you're into Whiteout Survival, and I'll see you guys.